In this session we're going to talk about web macro automation and this is a new task introduced in Visualcron 8.2.0. So what is a web macro recorder? A web macro recorder is a tool for automating mouse clicks and keyboard input on a web page in order to mimic what you do in your browser today. Maybe click on something, download, upload files, extract information also known as scraping. So the reason why this this kind of web macro recording have become more and more popular are that more services are moving to the web and cloud and instead of creating multiple interfaces like a Windows client, uh, APIs, uh, the, the focus now is on web applications that will work on your desktop browser and on your cell phone. So there are currently many different takes on web, app, web macro automation and before A2 series, which you can offer the full automation solution but lack this kind of web macro automation functionality. So when we started developing the web macro automation task, we wanted to resolve some very common problems of current implementa implementations of web ma macro automation. So I'm going to go, go through the current problems that we can see on uh, competitors implementations. So first off, uh, Visicron is a full automation suit and there are many tools today for web, o o web macro automation that just do the web part. So once you have done that, you cannot do anything else like FTP upload and stuff like that. Another very common problem is that the actual automation is based on Internet Explorer and and an old version. So we have problems with JavaScript and other compatibility problems. Another pl uh, problem is that the actual playback is done on the desktop. So that means uh, when you're playing back the macro, it might uh, block so you cannot use any other application at the same time or you can only use one instance at a time. And security is another problem because it might not be integrated properly so passwords are shown in clear text etc or not stored uh, in, in an encrypted format and another problem is that when these type of web macro automation solutions are not built for handling data and files dynamically so for example you need to hard code static files and upload and, uh, for upload or download and another problem is that you, it's no proxy support and there's no support for client certificates and don't no incognito support and you may not be able to upload or download files. So let's go through the Visualcron implementation. So Visualcron is a full automation suit and because of that you're able to pass data between tasks. And that means for you can pass information, for you can do something before and then you use the value from that somewhere into the web automation. So you're able to pass data back and forth between tasks. And we are basing our web automation on Chrome. The latest version of Chrome, so it's fast, secure and compatible. And a big difference is the playback and uh, of a uh, web rec recording. So, when you're creating this kind of task, you are rec recording uh, the actual browsing as you're done doing it in the normal client. And when that is saved, you're able to play back on in the foreground on your desktop and see everything happen. But then, when scheduled, you're able to played back to the Windows service and that means that this type of uh, playback can run unattended and so it requires uh, no, l no one logged in at the moment and it does not interfere with anything else and you can have multiple instances running at the same time. Another thing in Visicron is that all passwords are stored in an encrypted format so uh, you can do everything securely and we can handle multiple instances at the same time uh, different tabs like a normal browsers and copy information between tabs 
and we worked hard to implement upload and download of files and it's not just uh, a link to a static file but you can also uh, do something uh, dynamically with variables so it could be based for example when you download you want to rename the file to include a certain the current date for example or when you upload you want to upload the the newest five files only and this kind of um, variable implementations and dynamic solutions uh, you can do with the upload and download task at the moment we are supporting client certificates so uh, if they are requested uh, they will be presented and um, you're able to when you're using the tabs as well you're able to have an incognito mode and um, you're able to print and take screenshot and save it to file and you can use any user agent that you like so for example this is the main interface and you're able to override the current user agent and you're able to inject JavaScript anywhere you can also override the, the referrer and you're also be able to set the accept language in order to return maybe a specific version of the page and we're supporting flash as well and it works great with the iframe so in next session we're going to talk more about the actual task but this is uh, the common description of the web macro automation in Visicron and um, advantages with it, our current implementation. Thank you for listening.